What's up Giant Slayers, Brandon here from David vs. Goliath BJJ. In today's video I'm going over one of my favorite ways to open up the closed guard against guys with long legs. If you guys want to learn then keep on watching. By the way guys, be sure to stick around to the end of the video. Professor Gavin Hain is going to be sharing one of his favorite techniques to open up the closed guard as well. Alright guys, so when it comes to opening up the guard against guys with long legs, uh, one of my favorite methods is to stand up to my feet. I don't like to stay on my knees when I go to open up the guard. Okay, a lot of times when I do the traditional uh, guard break where I go knee in the tailbone and I look to pop my hip, guys with really long legs, it's, it's difficult. Okay, so one of my favorite ways is to stand up. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out my previous video where I went over one of my other favorite passes, I'll leave a link to that above as well. Uh, but for today, I'm going to show you guys one of my other favorite standing passes also. Alright guys, so a lot of times when you're sitting in, in the closed guard, this person's going to have a uh, cross collar grip on you. So the first thing I'm looking to do is pop this grip off. So I like to use my magic thumb right here on the inside. I'm going to double up on Tim's wrist. Okay, shake, 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 shake. I'm going to pop my head back as I push down all right, to take this grip off. Okay, right here I'm two on one. I have good control over this wrist. So if Tim tries to re-grab my collar right here, he's going to have a hard time doing so. And because of that, he has a free hand. He's going to look to use his free hand to grab my other collar. As he does, I'll look to capture both wrists. Okay, now I'm smaller, so I'm not relying on the fact that I'm going to be able to control Tim's hands for very long. So as soon as I get double wrist control here, I'm looking to pop up to my feet and then get up to vertical posture immediately. Okay, so now I'm in a range, you guys, where Tim's hands aren't on my collar. Okay, so once I have double wrist control right here, you guys, again, nothing's preventing me from standing up and getting to vertical posture. I'm going to rock forward, get up to my toes, pop up to my feet, and as soon as I do so, I'm going to look to stand straight up. Okay, once I'm here, I'm going to shift my weight off to one side, I'm going to frame on Tim's knee, and I'm going to look to shake, 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 pop open the guard, okay, and fight for an inside knee position here, and look for my pass. Another variation on this, guys, is if I can beat him to the punch and steal inside position here with V-grips in the armpits or hands in the biceps. Again, I'm going to look to pop up to my feet and get to vertical posture as soon as possible. Okay, so without Tim holding on to a collar, okay, this puts all the pressure and weight on Tim's legs. Okay, so again, I'm going to shift off to one side, I frame, okay, shake, 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 and pop the grip. All right, guys, so one thing you have to be mindful here is, of is a double ankle sweep. Okay, so if Tim goes for my ankles and he's looking to sweep me right here, okay, one option I have is as I'm going to frame on his knee to kick him out, I'm going to off balance my weight to one side, okay, and that allows me to crescent kick and circle my foot out there. Okay, so now Tim only has control of one of my ankles, and I can continue to pop the guard open here. Okay guys, so real quick, just wanted to show that detail again with my leg, uh, without Tim's guard in the picture here, but you guys can see if I try to kick straight back, this grip is really difficult to take off. So essentially, as he's going for his double ankle sweep, I'm going to kick forward and around. Okay, that makes it really hard for Tim to stop. Again, if I go straight back, I'm going to get stuck. Okay, so I do a little half circle here, around. Alright guys, there you have it. One of my favorite ways to open up the closed guard against guys with long legs. Be sure to keep watching as Professor Gavin is going to share his favorite technique next. All right, thanks Brandon. What we're going to do, we're going to focus on two different ways of how to open your partner's guard when they've got very, very long legs. So I just drop down on the back for a sec, Gareth. Okay, so we're here in our partner's guard. More than likely, as you're saying, they're going to be holding onto the lapel, cross, so it doesn't matter, the same side. I'm going to break the grip, okay? With my posture, bring that one over. Now I'm going to grab onto both lapels here and I've got the sleeve grip. So I'm going to step up with this leg. More than likely, if I step up with that leg, his arm's free, he can work on displacing my balance and also going for sweeps. So, over the top, a hell of a lot of weight on your partner's arm. I'm going to step up here. Now, lean forward to get the weight off this leg to make it a little bit easier for you to stand up. So, I come up to here. Really important that I don't keep my knees apart for obvious reasons. I can get done with the sweep. So, I'm going to bring my knees together and lean backwards, kind of like a chair. Let go of the lapel. Keep in mind, they could already be opening and transitioning, and that's pretty good, that's kind of what we want anyway. If not, I'm going to start to shake. As soon as I drop to here, I'm going to be wary of his knee or his foot. It's going to be another barrier. So I want to like, crunch over like this and just stay nice and tight. Then I can go into my very basic passes, my underhook, my cross face, 
maybe slide the other leg through, but I'm close enough where I'm not running into his shin or his foot or anything like that. So we'll change angle and we'll do that one as well on a different angle. So we're here, gonna break the grip with posture, go over, grab both lapels if you can, put a lot of weight on that side, step up with this leg, lean forward and now bring your knees together and start to get your posture. Start to shape to open, okay, crowd your partner, then you can work on getting your cross face, work on getting your underhook, okay, obvious reasons I'm not going to step over and get caught in half guard, so I'm hooking behind the back of your leg, then from here, got a lot of different options of how I can pass my partner's guard once I'm there. Another thing that we can do in this position as well, so we're here like so. All right, they've got very, very long legs and it's very hard to open their legs. Another one that I like to do, hold on to both lapels, put a hell of a lot of weight down here in the armpits. Now from here, I'm going to basically do a push up. My elbows are in, go nice and high. Now I'm going to start to shake and drop my knee inside, okay? You've got to make sure that, okay, the guard's open now. You don't want the feet on the hips where they can start to kick you away. So in that position there, you're pulling your partner in, the legs are open, same thing as before. I can start to drop my knee over, look for my underhook, look for my cross face, or maybe I'm in this position here where I want to focus on more of a uh, like bow and arrow style pass. Here, sliding through, getting my underhook, that's pretty good here. Then we'll change angle, we'll do the same one again. Alright, so open the lapel. Put a hell of a lot of weight down. Start to move backwards. Now, put all the weight on your hands to come up nice and high. Work out which knee is going to go in the center. And now pull your partner, okay? Now from here, obviously the legs are open. I can pick to go this way or this way. Go into an underhook pass, cutting knee pass. Then I can just slide to slide through. So these are two different ways that I like to do when I'm struggling with somebody with very, very long legs, how to open their guard. All right, back to you guys, thanks. All right guys, there you have it. Thanks again for watching today's video. Shout out to Professor Gavin for showing us some of his favorite techniques. Uh, and guys, if you haven't had a chance to yet, be sure to check out his channel. I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description. Uh, be sure to give him a follow, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.